musical, just just darling. I built this eight foot whale, um, just a big big success. The kids got a lot of satisfaction out of it. And then last year we did something about Moses. We've got a big one coming up again this Mother's Day, so that'll take up a lot of my time this spring. Um, and it's, it has proved to be real satisfying. Sunday mornings are, are just kind of an important time. You've mentioned your friends who live here now, and I, if I recall right, um, they live out in Windsor. Um, our paths have never crossed, um, but that's pretty close to, to here. And so if, if you got on the freeway 101 headed north, um, it's about oh, five minutes outside of Santa Rosa. It's, it's really a little better community. Um, our closest friends live up there. And there's some real nice, nice new housing in that area. It's a real uh, area of, of this county that is growing tremendously. For a long, long time, it was a very poor, uh, primarily Hispanic community. So it's kind of two diverse uh, populations up in Windsor. But um, there just isn't much space in this county to grow anymore. And so there is a little growth to the west and, and a lot of growth up in that area, uh, just north of town. Olivia's grandparents live a little farther north. Um, we stay real close touch with them. In fact, we were up there Saturday night for Carl's 70th birthday. This has been one of the things that I think has helped Olivia a lot through the years is that I'm still real close to Maria and Carl, my former in-laws. And we spend every Christmas Eve together. We always have them here for Christmas Eve. And um, play, Ted and I play bridge with them and have dinner periodically. And just, you know, Olivia has never felt like there's ever had to be any choices made. Um, Saturday night we were up there, and, and Bruce and Helen, his wife, were there, and, and all the Roberts kids and grandkids. And, I still feel, feel very much a part of the family, not because of Bruce, but because of how close I am to Marie and Carl. And Christmas morning, for the last, oh gosh, I guess seven years, uh, Bruce and Helen have always come here Christmas morning. And so we can all be together while Olivia opens her presents, and then we have brunch and, and um, a couple glasses of champagne, and then she goes with them in the afternoon up to Grandma and Grandpa's. We're always invited, but, you know, I I can only expect Ted to spend so much of his time with the Roberts family, as, as important as they are to me. He's real good about it, but we've kind of gotten into this routine that Christmas Day is Christmas afternoon is kind of our time, and, and then she's home by early evening, and we that's kind of worked out well. She's never had to make any choices, um, and she uh, is at an age now where 